morning routine and I think if you guys realize that most of my uh, tutorial video I actually cut off those parts now because um, I think it's less important to show that because it's just a regular thing that whatever you guys do you can just stick to that so I mainly focus on when I do my eye makeup but Today I'm going to show you how I do my foundation and what I apply and what not because I am going to be featuring a, a very underrated product which is from Myanmar and it is this Okay This thing is a Tanaka face mask even though it's a face mask but you can also use this as a makeup base, I mix this with my foundation to achieve a very, very, very matte finish. Uh, this one also protects me from having acne and is also whitening and and you know even down the skin tone and whatnot. In the day, if I am wearing my makeup, I will just take a little bit of this, mix it with my foundation, and my foundation has never looked so good. Without me adding this, I tend to get oilier fast. And I think it's because that inside here there is also glycerin so it looks something like this I have hit bottom of the jar and this is my second low and this is my second cup and guess how much this cost me guys this whole gigantic cup practically cost me three dollars yeah get it off the Myanmar shop itself instead of it being online because online about $10 or more $10, $12 for this big tub and a smaller tub about $5, $6, $4 like that just walk over to any Myanmar store you have around your neighborhood or in particular at Peninsula Plaza area if you see the shop just go in and ask them do they have any Tanaka face masks trust me they do they will never not have this okay because this is like their essential essential everyday kind of thing so I'm gonna show you how I use this under my foundation so what I will normally do is I'll just scrape some off using my finger um, and then this is the amount that I usually take like a uh, pea size I guess and then I now I'll put it at the back of my hand like that and then I will take my foundation and put it at the back of my hand also then you start to mix it it will basically blend into the foundation and mess out your foundation so if you have like a uh, oily skin and you have those glowy kind of foundation that doesn't work for you because it's, it's meant for normal skin or whatever not you can use this to matte it out and I believe it will matte it out okay but and then you just dot it all over your face like so and then take your sponge and start blending it out okay So I know this foundation may seem too white for me but it will match me later on because I will be doing contouring and whatnot because I have this foundation and it's like sayang to throw it away just because it is way too light for me so when I contour the perimeter of my face just the center portion will be right you know so yeah I can make it work so that is basically it with your foundation that you mix it with the Tanaka face mask and when you touch your face it's like you apply powder with it to matte out the look you know sometimes I don't even bother to set it with powder that is how good this thing is and did I not mention it also is a good product to counter prevent acne taking my concealer brush and then just take some product on here and start doing this okay under here and here I'm just looking at the viewfinder guys so I'm sorry okay. Connect this 
part to your cheekbone area. So make sure you flick it up, upwards. You don't want to bring it down, okay? Because you want the cheekbones to rise, not sunken in inside. You know? And then, control the nose. I need my mirror. Just slightly draw it down your nose like that. And then a line across. Now this line across here will create like you have a button nose. Okay? And this line at the cupid toe area will imitate that as though as you have a very deep deep I don't know what it's called. Do under your jawline to hide that double chin if you have. If you don't have, up to you you want to do or not, but I always do. And then if you wish to do this, just put a line down here. This will create a fake, like as though you have a dimple at your, at your chin, you know. Take your damn sponge again and just roll. Press and roll for this part. Oops. <laughs> yeah. You want to press this one upwards, okay? Then you just bring this upwards to your hairline. Make sure you really put it at your hairline because you don't want to be looking at here. There is no color and then suddenly brown. Not natural at all, okay? Then under the lips area where you put the contour because you want to fake that you have a very pulpy lip until it makes a shadow down there. So that's how you fake big lips, you know? And you are basically done! Next, this is the banana shade. Okay, this is the banana shade. And <laughs> I am running out. So usually with the banana shade, I will do uh, the center of my face, like my forehead, under the eyes, my nose, my cupid bow area, and my chin area. But I am saving this for just concealing my eyebrows. But I will go in with my foundation earlier on, which was too light for me, and apply it to the center of my face. If you ever have a foundation that is too light for you, don't throw it away. You can use it. Just use it to the center of your face. Or use the whole or use it to the whole entire face. But you contour and it's gonna be looking great on you. Okay? Okay, so that is basically it, what I do for my foundation. And then I will go in with my banana powder. It's the Ben Nye banana powder. And then I will have it. Alright, I've done my brows. Now we're gonna contour. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Contour Kit, which I have already heat pan on the contour colors. And I'm gonna use it with my NARS Ita Kabuki brush. Okay, I'm just gonna dab it up to for my cheekbones. When it comes to my jawline, I will do this and then this and then this. Then under the lips area, 
and in the middle of my cubicle here on my nose just like that and this is also the reason why I love this brush so much it is easy to apply contour shades all over the face and then using these two shades right here just a tad bit apply to the brush and I'm gonna dab like press it so that it will create that precise line and then I will blend out this is to re remove the bake you know that I face with the Van Eye powder then a little bit more press it So this is the finished look where I actually draw my eyeliner and then put on some mascara and put on a red lip since I don't have much going on in my eyes so I thought of having a bold lip and this is from Kylie Jenner in Mary Jo K and yeah that's pretty much it for this look where it's actually my foundation routine so I don't need to show the rest of it which is pretty much self-explanatory if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't seen more videos from me and i will talk to you guys in my next video but before that if you have any requests on what video you want to see next please comment down below and i will sure to consider to do it for you guys and yeah until next time guys bye